for years, the statement was always that white women developed breast cancer more often, but for African American women, it was more lethal. African American women more recently have begun to develop breast cancer more often and most of these breast cancers occur later in life. And one of the reasons that have been postulated is because when you develop breast cancer later in life, it's usually due to weight gain that you put on in your adult years. And so Unfortunately, many of us carry too much weight and obesity uh, leads to an increased risk of developing breast cancer in your postmenopausal years. And so we believe that that is the reason why African American women are starting to develop breast cancer at a higher incidence than white women. So it's important to try to get five to seven fruits and vegetables in each day and to limit the amount of carbohydrates that you eat or processed foods that you have and try to do lean proteins um, like fish and chicken and beans are a great source. As you get older your risk of developing breast cancer goes up and your family history we can't change that. If you have several first degree relative, someone who's directly one degree away, so that is your sister, that is your mother, or your daughter, um, your auntie, your cousin, they are second degree relatives. Um, if your mother, your sister, or your daughter has developed breast cancer, that increases your risk of developing breast cancer. And if you have two first degree relatives who have breast cancer, your risk goes up even more. So your family history, which you can't change, that's non-modifiable, that increases your risk for developing uh, breast cancer along with your age. The purpose of early detection is to detect these precancer cells, but also to detect invasive cancer. When to get a mammogram has become a very confusing and controversial uh, topic. We have guidelines that recommend beginning mammography at various ages, but let me tell you what Siteman Cancer Center recommends and many other cancer specialists. And that is that the mammography begin at the age of 40 and be done every year. So that's annual mammograms beginning at the age of 40 for women who have average risk. Now, we know that it's important to know your breasts and we call that breast awareness, self breast awareness. And we recommend that really starting in your 20s, you should begin routinely knowing your breasts. And I say the best way to do that is to pick your birth date for the month. Mine is the 17th. And so just make sure on that day of each month, you really soap up nicely in the shower or in the bathtub and examine your breasts and know how your breasts feel so you have breast awareness. If you feel a, a lump in your breast or fullness of the breast or dimpling in the breast or fullness under the arm, something, a change, or you know that you're 40 and you should be receiving a mammogram, it is incredibly important to consider Show Me Healthy Women. This is a program that offers free mammography and clinical breast examinations by a healthcare provider. If there is an abnormality on your mammogram, uh, you can have additional care with regard to diagnosis as well as treatment under that program if you qualify. And the qualifications are such that most women will qualify if they are uninsured.